Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at how we can take a standard line chart within Power BI and use forecasting and other analytics tools to really power up the insights we gain from our data. As well as using this line chart as a basis for our forecasting, we'll also use the analytics pane to draw insights from our lowest 25% L and draw a y-axis constant line and label this. The data we're using is simple and we're just utilizing sale dates over three months and the associated profit in the other column. I'll also leave a link to a video on DAX greetings as I have one here in the top of my dashboard. So it's important to note that as well as using the analytics pane and scrolling down, just to remember we can always search um, and forecast comes as standard within the analytics pane. So if we expand this, we can see that we can add a forecast. So my sales and profit data is over 90 days. So I'm going to look to repeat that within the forecast length. So we'll change the points to days and um, we'll look to reflect 90 days in here. We're going to ignore this, ignore the last column and we want to also reflect the confidence rating. I'm pretty confident that we're going to increase um, as we have done so I'm going to, to reflect this with, with a 90% confidence rating. Now we'll change the color, we'll adjust it as standard. We're gonna look at how we can format this soon because I, I don't really like this, this sort of funnel effect with the upper bound and lower bound. And also with the auto seasonality, you can see that my, my um, we just get this flat line um, as the main forecast and, and that's not very effective either. It's not, it doesn't let us draw insights in an instant, which is always what we want to do. We have the standard options for the line style, dotted, solid, and dashed. We can change that up to make things slightly easier to see between our standard profit and our forecasted profit. So within the seasonality, if I select 90 points, or, or this is essentially 90 days, you can see that it drops at the very start because it's reflecting the full scope of the data that came before it, the profit data. So that's not really the most effective way to do things. You can see that if I place 30 points last 30 days, this will increase exponentially in line with the, the pretty successful 30 days that we've had. We haven't had any major dips, so I could use that. If I use the last 60 days or 60 points for my seasonality, it's not very reflective either at this point. There's a bit too many dips for my liking. So if we use the last 45 days, this would be a pretty standard indication. We'd still want to reflect some of the, uh, the potential troughs, but this might be a good way to reflect the seasonality over the next three months. Okay, so we end up with a pretty nice line chart that clearly separates our existing data and our forecasted data, different colors uh, and stroke styles. Now, usually I see people gravitate towards the trend line when they're looking at the analytics pane. What we're going to actually do is look at the y-axis constant line and I'm going to assign a value to that and format it. Now, the reason I do this is because I want to set a number and let's say it could be a good profit or the number we use to to open a new venue 
and you can watch how I format this because I'm going to actually use the data label with the, the constant line name and we can reveal even more insights and then we can go above this line and look at every date on why this happened and this allows us to have some repeatability within our business and look at how we can improve things. So it's another example of how this analytics tool within the line chart can really power up our data. going to speed up the process here as we go through the, the percentile functionality but essentially what we're going to do we're almost repeating the process but we're saying the lowest 25 percentile we want to again format this with the name we'll give an instruction to investigate these dates and we can see some troughs in our data later on than we would expect to have dips in in profit so we can actually again go and analyze this data look at why this happened and how we can avoid this in the future. So again, I hope I was able to demonstrate some, some sort of real use case because too often we see the functionality of Power BI, but it's not demonstrated with, with very nice design. And there's not a real use case at heart because at the end of the day, this is a business intelligence tool for our end users. As usual, if you like the content, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.